Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be taking apart a uh, Ufy, Efy, E U F Y. This is a Robovac S uh, 11S by Ufy. Efy, I've heard it pronounced different ways. My speech is bad, guys. I'm sorry. But in this video, um, I'm going to be taking apart the non essentials. These are going to be things that you do normally for maintenance for your robot. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and turn the robot so I can work on it. At any time, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. So, the first thing you're going to do is pop off your side brush rollers. There's that. <clears throat> and, give me one second. I do believe... All right, so they do have the same size, a little bit different holder than the Shark Robot, the same size. So there's your side brush rollers. We'll set those to the side. Let's make sure y'all can see everything I'm doing really well. All right. Next is this front wheel. So the front wheel is going to get clogged eventually with hair. Go ahead and get your flathead, put it in the corners, and just pop it up. And like this one is, it's got a lot of hair in it. Look at that. Lots of nasty hair from an animal. And then you'll take an Lysol or 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. We'll take that gunk out of there. Next, there's two tabs right here. Pop off the main brush cover and slide the main brush roller out. Now, if you need parts for this robot, go ahead and send me a message. I will leave a link to my eBay store in the description below. And for this last part, we're just going to remove the dustbin, pop it open, and there is the filter. We can change that out and blow it out, clean it. Um, simple design, very similar to the old school. I don't think I have one. Yes, I do actually. Very similar to the original Sharks. Fit. No, they don't. The Shark is a little bit bigger. Wow, I just made a huge mess with that one. All right, so that's how to remove most of the non-essentials. Now let's go ahead and remove the battery as well, just so everybody can see. So we're gonna have two Phillips head screws. Now these won't stay in, stay in the plastic, so make sure you pull them out. Oh, and with this front wheel, I'll show you. Um, so let's remove the cover for the battery. Two tabs on the battery, pull it out, and then there's a disconnection tab right here. This is a 14.4 volt. This is actually the same battery that is in the Shark Ion 700s. So you could actually get this same kind of battery, same connector and everything, from a aftermarket manufacturer for a Shark or this robot. It takes 14.4 volts, and you can get a higher milliamp for a longer battery life. And that's how to remove all the non-essentials. Let's go back to this wheel really quick. Let me pop this out again. And this one is gonna have, this one's not gonna pop out like all the other robots have screws. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take the robot apart and then it will come out. Now make sure you don't lose your, uh, your wheel rod. Pop that back in. So, we have a right, uh, so on robots, when you flip them over, this is your right side, your left side. So when you flip it over, so your right side flips over here. So right wheels are actually on your left when you flip it over. The way that you look at a robot, so the robot is going this way for me. I'm behind it, right side, left side. So R, left. So right side is gonna come over to the left side. So le uh, left is now your right and your right is now your left. A little confusing, I know, but that's how even the manufacturers do it. So, you'll take the robot apart to take this plastic piece out. Uh, it's not a big deal. I have videos that will explain how to remove the wheels, how to take it apart, take the uh, bumper guard off, everything like that. This robot actually has a motherboard issue uh, where it will not charge. Um, some other preventative maintenance to do on this is also to, you know, Besides replacing the battery and everything, is cleaning it really well, taking the wheels out, getting the dirt out of those, um, buying a new brush roller, 
things of that nature. Cleaning up the pads with isopropyl rubble alcohol, 91% because it has less water content and will dry. Uh, always turn the robot off. O is off, I is on. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if you have any questions about this robot or need any parts, go ahead and hit me up, and I will get y'all taken care of. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed.